Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video of just some tips on when installing a plenum or a throttle body spacer on a 96 or 97 Mustang GT 4.6. So straight away, you cannot install a throttle body spacer if you don't have a plenum spacer because right here, the linkage from the throttle body would hit this, little, this rail right here. Um, it barely clears it and that's because I have the one inch um, plenum spacer. So you need that for you to install a throttle body. If not, it's not gonna work because this is gonna hit this rail right here. It's just, it's the, there's a fitment issue. So that's first of all, only for 96 to 97. I'm not sure about 98, but I, for sure 96, 97, you need a platinum spacer. I think uh, on the safe side, I got a one inch one. Um, so it, it'll clear this space right here. So a couple things, installing it, it's pretty straightforward. That's why I'm not making like an install video. The hardest part about putting this together is getting this EGR valve to line up just because it's obviously higher. Um, you will need to kind of force it up and get a bolt in on this side and then um, it'll be better for you if you want to um, get the shorter bolts because the bolts on these EGR valves are really long. So the best way, easiest way for you to be able to get this on would be is you got to loosen up this tube right here is a 1 and 1 16 inch um, wrench that you could use to um, loosen it and then get like shorter bolts it has the same thread pattern I got this one this is the original bolt it's real long on this one I had to go scavenge a bolt a short bolt to fit in here so basically what I do is I loosen that and I loosen both of these and then I just got this all the way in. And then I got, so I kind of loosened this so you can have some play. And then I got this bolt in and then I kind of just kind of forcefully lifted it up and then shoved the shorter bolt in here. Cause all you need to do is make sure that, you know, there's no space here. So you don't like, there's a gasket in here. All this needs to be do is pushed in there. And this one doesn't have to be uh, in there that super tight. Because um, I learned my lessons when I was tightening that it it broke the EGR valve. It actually cracked the body of it. You get it too tight. So other than that, this guy right here is gonna float. There's a, used to be a bolt right here that holds it down. Because obviously now it's higher. That bolt won't be needed down there. Um, right here, um, it's basically it comes with a kit. Because obviously it has to be moved forward. This used to be over here, so now it comes with this little like extension. So then it will clear it. Um, so now performance gains. In all honesty, I did notice a difference. I was a non-believer, and um, me noticing anything at all, I just thought it was just kind of for the looks. In all honesty, I did notice a difference um, in, in acceleration actually in the throttle response and. I'm thinking maybe it's just because of the fact that these linkages are stretched out to a degree, maybe, to where like it it gets really sensitive when you push your pedal down to where you notice the difference. Um, maybe, or maybe it did actually give me some horsepower because I did notice a difference when I drove. Um, the pedal is very sensitive and it accelerates. To me, I feel like it's faster. So. But yeah, um, if you're putting both of these together, hardest part is that EGR valve. If you can get a shorter bolt, you'll be absolutely fine. So um, yeah, that's all.